Good morning. 10.36 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, October 1st, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of... Mm, so I wanted to do an update on gold, silver, the precious metals, and uh, mining stocks. We talked about it yesterday. I won't have a chance to do another commodities update until I get back home on Thursday. I got to take my son to um, Grand Rapids with Julie. Um, he's got to get his um, balloon changed in his NG tube that he has and uh, get a little bit of blood, which isn't a big deal. But we need to go up there for that because it's the first change. So we'll be gone for two nights. Um, but I'll still be doing updates as normal later on today, tomorrow, and then Thursday morning. But Thursday night, I'll do the next live. Today and tomorrow, there will be no live. Um, and if you haven't watched this morning's update, on XRP, please make sure to pay attention to that. Because XRP put in a gravestone doji. I talked about the target down at 59.9 cents and I showed what we would have to do to invalidate that thesis. But a gravestone doji is no joke. It's a bearish doji candle on the daily. So just please pay attention to that and watch this morning's update. It's got over 700 views already in the first like hour and 45 minutes. So I'm very happy to see that. And if you do enjoy not just my XRP videos, but if you enjoy the commodities, mining stocks, the gold and silver, things of this nature, make sure to subscribe and join the over. I can't even believe I'm saying this. 24,400 subscribers now today. We've been on quite a tear the last couple days, so I, I am truly blessed by that. So right now what's going on is gold is up about $27 a share. I mean uh, $27 an ounce. We're attempting to make a massive breakout here, though. It's just... Is this a fake out this morning like we had in crypto as well? Or are we going to be able to play off of what looks like a massive W reversal with the price of gold? We almost came right down to my targeted area. Now we can come over here and say, well, it didn't come all the way to 2616, but it came to 2624. That's our new floor support now to see if we have to come through and make a further retracement. I was very close. I had it within $8 and I put it there, you know, before the run even happened on the way up. So... This actually lines up a lot better because this would have been like a left shoulder coming through making a right shoulder. It could very well invalidate this downward momentum though. It could. And gold on like, like XRP and most of crypto, gold, silver is in a bull market right now. So these oversold conditions, right, or overbought conditions aren't as big of a hamper as it is in other, uh, other assets right now if you want to even call crypto an asset. Um because it doesn't have any earnings or anything like that. So it's something else to me. But three hour time frame, a lot of room to run here still. Four hourly engulfing candle here to the top side, a lot of room to run still with the relative strength index. The daily, we've given ourselves some uh, room if it can reverse here, because now we've come up to the resistance area, which is that yellow line. So now if we, let me try to expand this. It's hard to do though in the daily for some reason. Just do it like this. But we can see here that we did come over barely. And if we can now hold this as a resistance area, or I mean as a support structure, um, then it would end up bringing the price down. But if this gets used as resistance here, then it's going to pull back down and we're going to get a nice, another volatile move here. Weekly time frame is overbought, obviously. Um, but it's in a bull market, so like the way it created this big W reversal, if this plays true, it can invalidate this bearish thesis here in the daily. It's just got to have a close over 2,666, ironically. Right now we're at 2,661, so it's going to be a very volatile day, I believe, in the commodities today. Precious metals and the mining stocks, so I wanted to go over this now. B2 gold's up about 5 cents, 1.62%. Nothing major. It's bouncing off of this descending consolidation and it looks like it's doing exactly what it needs to do now and it's back testing if it back tests this and holds this successfully the ultimate targets five dollars and nine cents but on this bull flag that i think we can all agree that is there from the bounce up how would it remove um the technical target is up at 502 but off of the bull flag the initial target if this holds obviously we would have first layer would be three dollars and ninety cents 
which is an excellent move from here. I mean, that's a spectacular move from where we're at. And then uh, the top target would be $5.09 if it played true. So that is what I'm very optimistic about. You all know that I hold B2 Gold. And uh, if it drops more, I'm going to buy more. It's just that simple. I bought it back last night and uh, was nice. I got some at 308, 313, and 310 as I was layering it back in. But every time it came to certain spots, I put more. And now, you know, I've got my holdings that I want, but I will buy more if it goes down farther. I don't believe this is a time where we can, you know, shake up the market here. I think this is the time where you had to be very visual. And then if it does break down, you've got more opportunity. But this is the time in the mining sector where we've got some things going on in the world where it might exacerbate these prices up. And then finally, silver is up 1.66% or 51 cents per ounce to $31.64 $31 an ounce. Silver's on a breakout. Silver's broken out here already. The question was, is, is it going to back test? And it came down. It certainly came down. Let's see if we were to line this up at the top of the wick. It was close. But these don't have to come all the way down. It's already back tested it earlier in the pattern as well. So... We already came down after a move up to $31.39. We back tested at $30.65, bounced out, and now we're just descending consolidation. And if it pulls out of here, just like gold, if gold pulls out of here, it's gonna be a volatile move to say the least. And right now it's bounced off of here. That's how you get that technical move up to $35.58. It has not invalidated that structure. So more of a megaphone pattern that was setting up there it's a descending consolidation um on the handle so we've had a mighty long consolidation and the ultimate target up here is much higher it's even higher than what i have on paper but this is the short-term narrative so just pay attention to that so then you have to look into the silver mining stocks you have first majestic as some of you know i started buying back well more than started buying back i got back in at five dollars and 97 cents yesterday after selling at about 660 and it just seemed like the right time for me. Looks like a uh, nice consolidation here. And we already had a big dump down when they had the acquisition here of another silver mine. And most people have seen it as a hindrance. It dumped down all the way to uh, $4.71. We bought it and sold it at $6.60. And then rebought it back at $5.97 after that consolidation. I'm not willing to play with it any more than this though. Because I know it's going to go up to 855 in time. I'm not a financial advisor, so you have to do your own due diligence. But it's had a massive breakout, just like B2 Gold is having. And it's back tested this perfectly now. So we'll see what happens in the days and weeks to come. But that looks to be a magnificent move in the making. And then Fortuna Silver Mines. The reason why I haven't updated this is I wanted to update this chart with everybody today. Because we haven't looked at this in a long time. And I told everybody yesterday that it, was, it just seemed like the appropriate time. And uh, I think we can uh, make this look a lot better. Okay, so we're going to do this together. As we can see with Fortuna Silver Mines, this has been a long, 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 long consolidation back to January roughly of 2012. Actually, to 2011 if we actually want to go back to October. But this has been a very, very, very long-standing pattern. It hasn't really done much in the wrinkles. It stayed between a very consolidatory level. There hasn't been much to it. That's been a resistance over the top that we will get back to. And then some. Oh, we're going to get into new all-time highs at some point. And then we've just been very slowly. When I say slowly, I mean very, very slowly building this rotation up. And it's taken over a decade to get even to this point. Um, and then we've got a slightly shorter pattern that's starting to develop. That we're gonna have to break over in time here we could probably start from here and just look at this descending resistance so we've got that set up and then if we want to look at just over the top in the or, uh short term um in the weekly we've got this is mostly like our expansion zone so what i always say with the expansion zone is if you can hold it then you start to break up very volatilely and right now it's going to be interesting because if it doesn't hold this area, there is a chance we could come all the way back down here to $2.89. But we just bounced off this. We came up here. Now it looks like we're trying to consolidate. So it makes me wonder if this is actually going to be something much bigger because it looks like a bull flag here that's starting to play out. 
And if it does play out in a bull flag fashion, see how the monthly started today and it started green? If this starts out more violent to the top side, because it looked like a nice reversal candle in the monthly from last month. So if this plays out the way it looks, we could be finding ourselves up here at six bucks before we know it. Even if it's still bearish, we could find ourselves up there in a very short amount of time. So I wanted to put this information out in front of you. Um, make sure to make an educated and informed decision. By no means am I an expert when it comes to, hey, today's gonna happen, but I do recognize the rotations very nicely. And so far we've turned $3,500 in the last four months into over 13,000 in our precious metals account. Actually 14,000 if I'm being honest. I've been able to divulge now that 3,500 that started in B2 gold and we've added it into, now the B2 gold has over 3,000, over 3,100 shares. Um, we have an option right now for $3.50 that we, well, I don't know if anybody else did, but if you've been paying attention, this is what I've done. I've given you an opportunity to do what I do as well. $3.50 by January 16th, 2025, or 2020, yeah, 2025. We took that out at $2.32. So we'll have the option soon for that to mature. And then uh, I've expanded not just having B2 Gold now as I started in the beginning with 2,000 shares, but by the finessing and the buying and selling when the rotation was up and then allowing it. Um, been able to branch it off into over $2,000 in Fortuna Silver Mines and over $2,000 in the First Majestic. So there's a big wide um, thing going on here. But I'm still not certain that it's not going to come down farther. It's just we have an opportunity here to capitalize and start accumulating in. So... Pay attention to the mining sector. Please hit that like button and we'll talk shortly.